Hello and welcome, I'm Philip, and you're joining me on day 12 of a 30-day Godot challenge that I've given myself. So without further ado, let's hop in the project and see what I've done so far. So here's the project file. Let's hop right in and see uh, what kind of progress I made. So I can still move around, and I have mines that are moving, and they actually spawn other mines. Although they don't stay on the screen long enough right now, um, this, there's no consequences for this right now. So I'm not sure if you just saw that, but that mine spawned a mine and then spawned another mine. I actually figured out how to get that working. So why the mines are like spawning and then immediately going off is when they spawn on the, on the edges, they pick a random direction and then go that way. And, uh, so some of them just go right off the, right off the play area. Uh, I'm not going to fix that as much as, um, yeah, it's just this game works fine the way it is. And for me to change that would be a minor thing and it might introduce some other things, some other issues. Because my thought for fixing it would be to um, have them, if they reach the edge, to spawn on the other side. But if I do that, then um, I think the player would be quickly overwhelmed with mines just because of the way I'm doing the timer. And it's probably a simple timer just, but I just... It's not worth the effort because this way the the player has a chance to get a take a break, and if the game's too simple, if it's too easy, I can just change the timer anyways. So it's I have I have a fix for it. I'm just not going to implement it. So without me going on and on about that, let's hop into the project files. So this is my main game, my game handler. So this is almost the same exact script as the. Uh, my first 2D game, the uh, spawn script for that, almost the exact same thing. And the mine script, this has changed a ton because I have learned um, a more, what I think is a more efficient way of doing it and maybe the way I was supposed to do it in the beginning. So how my mines work now is I have a game asset. I have a scene called mine. And if we hop into this, you'll see all it is, is an area 2D and a visible visibility notifier. That's it. It's just a basic thing. And then I use this when I created, um, so my small mine. So this is still, I just started the scene as this scene, the mine scene, which gave me everything, all the signals that worked, uh, and the basic mine script. And I just added a sprite and a collision shape 2D. That's it. So it made it way easier. Before I was making the files individually and attaching the same script. Um, I think making a generic mind script and then creating minds off that script is the way you're supposed to do it. I'm not sure. But that felt more right. So here's the mind script. Um, what's new? So I'm actually not using this anymore. So I have to go through this because some of this is old code. But for right now, choose direction. So what happens is when the node gets created, it gets move direction, which is a vector two, and it's choose direction. So all this does is, um, let's go hop and choose direction, is it chooses a random speed for the mine to go between 50 and 100. And then it gets a direction, which is another vector two. So all it does is it chooses a random range, whether it's negative one to positive one. And you'll notice that's similar to um, if you've done movement, movement scripts. So it randomly picks a direction to go to, an eight-way direction. And then this is uh, some debugging thing. And then it normalizes it so it gets the direction without any magnitude. And then direction equals direction times speed, which gives me magnitude. And then it just returns direction. So then move direction equals this. And then uh, move equals delta. So process delta, move equals delta. So where is move? So move is just literally just one line. Position plus equals move direction times delta. And that was just a long way of explaining that it gets a random direction and then during process, it moves it incrementally in one direction. So that's how that works. That's awesome. 
I'm very proud of this. Um, this video is a little longer than I expected it to, but I did get a lot done. So that's the project so far. I'm ecstatic. It feels like a game now. It feels like, and when I play it, it's fun. I'm not sure if that's how it's going to be if, uh, for other people I have play it, but to me, it's fun. And this is a small project and it's supposed to be short and not supposed to be perfect. So I'm perfectly happy with that. So that's the project at the end of day 12. On day 13, I want to start looking at the HUD and start looking at wrapping up this project so I can move on to the next one. I'm hoping you'll stick around to see that. Bye. Thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day, call it replication.